What's going on everybody? It's your boy Justin Norm and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I'm going to be focusing on a comment that I received about how do you go about automating your effects or applying the effects to specific parts of your song. So let's get right into it. I'm going to use a project that I already have set up. Now that it's pulled up, I'm going to go to my lead vocal. Somebody tell me what to do. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is once you have your track in front of you, I'm using track 10, you heard what it sound like. Now, what I want to do is I actually want to apply delay to a certain part. All right, so this is what it is. Somebody tell me what to do. Okay, I want to go, somebody tell me what to do, what to do. I want like a little call and response for that what to do section. All right, and this is how I'm gonna do it. First of all, I could add delay straight to the track itself, but I'm not gonna go about doing that because it's good to have your effects on separate tracks. Like if you want to go ahead and do something different to it, like I might wanna pan it, and I don't want it to affect my regular vocals. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually send the signal from track 10 to an aux track. I'm gonna right click here, go to insert, send, gonna insert, send to new aux track, and then my new aux track is right here. So when you click on track 10, you'll see it. Now I did create one earlier, so let me delete this one because we don't need this one right now. Just wanna show you how to do it, but I had to make sure that I was doing it correctly because I was having some issues earlier, but I found out some because I haven't done this before. I have with automation, but not for this particular plugin. So anyway, we've got aux 2 here, and I can name this if I want to. I can say this is the uh, vocal effects um, lead Vox effects, let's put it like that. And on this lead Vox effects, I can add extra effects on here if I want to, but I can just automate them where I want them to be at. So now I'm gonna add the sinitis delay, right, right here. I already know what I want it to sound like, but I'm gonna give you an example so you can listen to it, all right? Somebody tell me what to do. All right, and as you can tell, that is way too wet, way too much delay. So I need to adjust this feedback and cross feed. I'm gonna turn those all the way down to 0%. The mix is at 30% and I'm gonna actually turn it up a little bit so we can hear it a little bit louder. Keep in mind, mix at zero means none of the effect is coming through, only the dry signal. Mix at 100 means you're getting 100% wet, basically. So just keep that in mind. And if you link these together, they're stereo, but you could play around with it if you want them to be separate. So I'm gonna leave the mix about, let's 74%. This tempo sync down here, very important. You wanna make sure that it's in time with the beats per minute on your record or on your project. In this case, I'm at 100 beats per minute. I can just set this from manual to host. And watch this, when I click on host, and then when I press play this time, it's gonna switch to 100 BPM. All right, now it's in time, but I know for a fact that this is not quite the way I want it. So I'm gonna change the factor. I know three, two is not gonna work. I'm gonna put it on two, all right? Both sides on two. And now you'll be able to hear it. Somebody tell me what to do. Okay, and I want that somebody tell me what to do, what to do, but I don't want the somebody. Now, the easiest way to go about doing this is to just crop the part that you want, copy it to a new track, apply the effect directly to it. But we're gonna cover that in one moment, so don't get ahead of me. On this, we're gonna actually automate it, so check this out. I know that I have my factor right, I know that I have my feedback, my mix is right, everything sounds good. This is how I'm gonna automate. Up here on the bar, there's a button that says Automation Right Disabled. There's Automation Read Enabled, and then there's a solo, okay? So I'm going to set this to right, but in order to set it to right, you might have to change or check some stuff that may be unchecked. So when I click on the Sinitis Delay, I'm gonna right click on it, right enable parameters, and then I'm gonna make sure that all of these are checked, right? And this allows, you can see which ones is gonna write, delay, factor, feedback, X feed, et cetera. I wanted to do all of them. But the main thing I really want is the mix because that's what I'm gonna really use. So press okay. All right, and now I know that everything is set to enable. So if you are wondering why you try to use it, the writing is not working like you want it to work, I had that problem earlier. I found out that you had to go through there and, and set those parameters to enable. All right, so once you have that, now we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go back some, it's gonna be a very simple process. 
I am going to mix. I was trying to do bypass earlier. That did not work. So any of this right here, this will all work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the mix up ever so slightly. I might bring it all the way up to 100% because I can always adjust the volume of this later on. I'm going to go back. I'm going to play it. You don't have to press record anything. You just press play. But I'm going to make sure this mix is set to zero when I start. I'm going to set it to zero and then I'm going to bring it back up and then I'm going to bring it back down. Here we go. Somebody tell me what to do. What to do. When I Okay, that was kind of where I wanted it to be, but not quite. So you got to, it's like you almost have to wait until you want the effect to kick in exactly where you want it to kick in at. Let me do it again because I got some of that somebody. I didn't want that somebody at all. Here we go. Somebody tell me what to do, what to do, and I can't get over you. All right, boom, and I turned it right back down right after that. So let's listen to it. That's solo, this. Somebody tell me what to do, what to do, and I can't get over you. Okay, now if I didn't like really, really, really like the way that that came in, I could go and adjust these nodes, which are right here. So I know I go up to 100%, so I can actually move this over. I can move this over. I can move that one over, and then I can do more like that. All right, let's see how that sounds. What to do, what to do, and I, All right, and that was better. I, tell me what to do, what to do, and I, Yeah, that was way I, better. So this is what it sounded like before. I can't get up. So here it is before. Somebody tell me what to do, what to do. Okay, so, and then let me go back to where it was. Control, Shift, Z. Okay. Try it like right there. When I can't get here we go. Somebody tell me what to do, what to do. And I, All right, and I kind of, uh, what? Okay, it's coming from that other side. And uh, let's see, can I actually click on that part right there? Yeah, okay, I thought I could. Move that over and then they're identical. It's just to clean it up a little bit. Somebody tell me what to do, what to do. And I can't. Okay, and as simple as that, you all. So that's one way to go about doing it. Now, here's another way to go about doing it. All right, now that I have it like that, I can go about doing it the other direction, which is gonna be a lot easier. So you take the section that you want uh, and you say, okay, look, this is the section I really want to use. So let me go back to my verse. I'm gonna split right here on this track, drag and drop it down. So it's gonna copy it now on this one, it's just going to be specifically effect. I can copy this same effect with the same settings. All right, I'm muting this track. It's on track 12 now. Now that I have my new track down there, uh, what I can do is I copy the effect. It's already set the same way as the other effect that I had. I have the other track, the previous track that I worked with, muted. So now on this track, all I want is just, just the mix to be hot just like that all the way up. So I'm getting wet signal. All right, let's listen to it. Let's just solo these two. What to do, what to do. Okay. Somebody tell me what to do, what to do, and I can't get over. All right, as simple as that. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and do uh, a fade in or fade out. Like if I want to do a fade in on this part, I can do that as well. Or if I want to do a fade in on that, I can do that. Somebody tell me what to do, what to do. And I can't okay, and you can tell that the course there's a big difference between this track and this track because this track does not have EQ on it, doesn't have you know a reverb or anything like that. But you can mix this track totally separate, or you can run it to a bus, which I can go about doing. I can do right click, send to a stereo bus, and now this stereo bus that's down here, you can't see it right now, but here it is right here. Click the arrows down here to show the bus pane. And then here's this bus right here, bus E. All right, so I can solo, all right? And then I know that every signal that's coming from there is going straight to here. All right, so I click on track 11. Here's bus E right here. Then on bus E, I can add, really, I can add this whole thing. Remember I talked about using the FX chain, FX chain preset. And remember I have my I'm sorry already here. So now I got all those same effects right here, and then I can run it straight to there. So let's see how it sounds now. Somebody tell me what to do, what to do. I okay, all right, just got a lot of effects, but we don't need that much. Somebody tell me what to do, what to do. I okay, and then I can listen to this bus. 
See what it sounds like. Somebody tell me what to do, what to do. All right, let's just listen to the bus by itself. Okay, what I'm sorry. Now that I've done it this way, you can notice that I actually, when I had track 11 on, I'm still hearing track 11, all right? What to do. So maybe I don't want to hear track 11. So instead of doing a scene like this, I could delete the scene, and then I can just change the master to bus E. All right, and now you will only hear the signal coming out of bus E. What to do. Okay, so it's got more effects on it, and that's kind of the way I really want it to be. I don't want it to be as blunt or upfront like the lead vocal is. Somebody tell me what to do. When I can't get okay, all right, and then I can add more effects, and I can just keep tweaking it the way I really want it. If you love tutorials like this, dealing with Cakewalk by Bandlab, music production, uh, music humor, music comedy skits, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. Click the notification bell so you're notified every time your boy, Just to Know Him, creates a new video and posts it to YouTube. Love you all. Take care.